This video breaks down what Klay Thompson means to the Golden State Warriors. After participating in his first full contact practice in almost three years, the Golden State Warriors are getting ready to welcome a two-time All-NBA player, six-time All-Star, and three-time champion into their starting lineup. And with the number one record in the NBA, already fueled by the likes of Steph, Poole, Draymond, and Wiggins, plus a flurry of productive role players, how does Klay fit into the mix? and how fast can he get reacquainted after two major lower body surgeries in two years? Stay tuned for all that and more. Before that, only 20.9% of you watching are subscribed, so help the channel reach 50k by subscribing if you haven't already. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Back on August 15th, 2019, Klay Thompson was ranked by Bleacher Report as the 6th greatest shooter in NBA history. Klay currently has the 13th most efficient 3-point percentage throughout his career of all time. In his 8 pro basketball seasons, Thompson's rookie campaign is the only one with fewer than 200 made triples. But the numbers aren't even the most impressive part of Clay's resume. Few, if any, jumpers have ever risen above this one. From a fundamentally sound and aesthetically pleasing point of view, Clay Thompson's jumper is as impeccable as they come. Thompson's smooth trigger is about identical on every single attempt. Whether he's coming off one of Steve Kerr's perfectly placed off-ball screens from the corner, executing an elevator cut from the paint back up to the perimeter, or pulling up into a triple off the bounce, Thompson's catch and release form is acutely consistent. Thompson's shoulders are even with his right elbow around 90 degrees, and on each attempt, he holds his follow-through. Once Thompson's adrenaline is flowing and he finds a rhythm, it becomes one of the most miraculous sights that anyone has ever witnessed throughout the history of the NBA. His 37-point quarter versus the Sacramento Kings in 2015 was one of the most mind-blowing, jaw-dropping shooting displays of all time, and that outing from Thompson was simply unprecedented. Three and a half years after that, Clay dropped a single-game record for three-pointers made, lighting it up on Madison Street for 14 threes to stun the Chicago Bulls. The second member of the Splash Brothers has been severely missed for the last two years as the Warriors have failed to qualify for the postseason without him. Of course, Durant leaving had something to do with Golden State's downfall, but Steph being left without one of his best friends and running mate in the backcourt has been just as detrimental as the loss of Durant. Thompson makes Curry so much more comfortable out there and Clay gives Steph the ability to take possessions off. What's so underrated about Thompson is how he can create shots off the dribble. The growth of Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins in Steve Kerr's system have been making up for the shot creation that Durant, Thompson, and at times Harrison Barnes provided during the Warriors' run to five straight finals. Considering the development of Poole and Wiggins, that means the Warriors don't necessarily need Thompson to be the all-star version of himself when he comes back. They just need him to be a productive spot-up shooter and solid defensive player. Having said that, after being snubbed for the NBA 75 list, Thompson is motivated to show the world that he's back to full form. On Tuesday, Clay participated in a full team practice for the first time since tearing his left ACL in Game 6 of the 2019 NBA Finals versus the Toronto Raptors, and of course his right Achilles in November of 2020. After practice, Clay said, quote, it's so exciting. Just to be running up and down the court and playing basketball, it's truly a blessing and it makes coming to work so easy. The boring stuff's behind me, and now it's just getting back in game shape. I gotta stay patient because I can be an over-eager person to get out there and play, but I'm just incredibly grateful to be out there. The work the training staff and I have done over the last two years is really paying off, and it's hard to put into words how grateful I am to be playing basketball again. Thompson knows he'll be on a minutes restriction whenever he does return, but he also knows that he'll be stepping back onto the court with a team that's setting the league on fire right now, riding an NBA best 15-2 record into Wednesday's game against the 76ers. Clay didn't stutter when asked whether or not he felt the Warriors could win a title this season. Quote, oh yeah, we're 15-2. That's a great indicator. And our defense, I think it's top three in the league as well as our offense, and I'm not even out there yet. Think about that. Really think about that. I'm more motivated than ever as well. I want to win a championship so bad, more than anything. Meanwhile, Kerr continues to preach patience as Thompson starts to ramp up what he can do on the floor. 
Steve said after Clay's return to practice, quote, the biggest thing is he hasn't played in two and a half years. So while the Achilles is structurally sound, there's been no ill effects. It's just a matter of building up strength and endurance, especially the endurance part. It just takes time. It takes a while. So even though he's playing full bore and he practiced full bore just now, he needs to keep doing this over and over again every day, really blow it out, get his conditioning back, his endurance back. So we're going to be very patient with Clay too, end quote. And Clay agrees with that statement from Kerr as he's content to let the Warriors medical staff tell him what to do. Thompson said, quote, I don't want to come back and be a shell of myself. I want to come back like I was last time I was playing and I was one of the best players in the world. Thompson, who was cleared for five on five work with members of the Warriors support staff last week, has been feeling like the prime version of himself as his return to game action inches closer. While Golden State has been expecting Thompson to return around Christmas, Coach Steve Kerr stated Tuesday that no return date has been set and they want Thompson to continue to build up strength and stamina after being off the floor for so long. Kerr said, quote, We don't have a target date. What we have is a number of weeks ahead of us for certain. Where we're going to play it out, keep letting him scrimmage as often as possible so that he'll build up that endurance. And I would think within a few weeks, we'll be able to sort of get a target date, but we don't have one right now. Thompson said he's been driven by critics who are doubting his talent and resume, and also doubting whether he and the Warriors can get back to the top. The six-time All-Star said, quote, I wanted to be on that top 75 list. I wanted some recognition. I didn't get it, and that's fine. You know how you get recognition? You go win. I just want to go win again. I want a fourth ring. Not being able to compete for the last two years, I feel like I have a lot of pent up energy to prove, not to anybody else, but to myself, I'm still one of the best. And fully showing Thompson's dismay for being left off that top 75 list, Clay's still rocking the number 77 jersey in practice. And to the people, Clay. Get the Jackie new jersey! Boy. Get the new jersey! He's the best player of all time, baby. My dog. <laughs> But two years have passed since his injury, so how fast can he get reacquainted to a game that's changed so much in such a short time? I'll answer that question in a moment, but I have to mention Clay's elite defense. We rave about his three-point shooting, but Clay made the all-defensive second team in his last season played in 2018-19. He established a reputation as one of the better two-way players in basketball, and while the two major surgeries impact his value, as you've heard, Clay's very eager to return to full form. Of course, his mindset can only do so much. His body's going to have to hold up, and I'm knocking on wood and praying to the higher power that he can stay on the floor. Don't forget, along with Thompson returning, the Warriors are also getting back a big man soon who can really help them on the glass in James Wiseman. So having those two back, specifically one of the greatest shooters of all time, will make the Warriors' floor spacing and overall attack, scoring, defending, and rebounding the basketball even more dangerous than it already is. How much better can Clay make the Warriors? Best answer in the comments gets next video shoutout. Today's Community Speaks commenter shoutout goes to Space Race 144 My most shocking player is Mello. A couple years ago, he was almost out of the league, and now he's gone from a ball-dominant, somewhat inefficient score to one of the best catch-and-shoot players in the league. The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.